when we hear powering prosperity around the world, I first think of my mom. Friends. For my family. Community. My parents. My wife. My daughter. She was a single mother who raised five children, and uh, through it all, she put herself last to make sure we were okay. My parents were always working like two to three jobs at a time. They never really talked about finances or how much work they had to do. I just knew that they weren't really around. They were always picking up shifts. My dad was a uh, blue collar. He's an airplane mechanic. And my mother's full-time job was raising her five children, me being the oldest of five. I have seen so many versions of my city. I think in the past, it was deeply connected to the middle class. You don't have a thriving entrepreneurial community if you don't have a thriving population. My little car that I bought with my first few paychecks was my home for about, let's say, five days. I remember just like thinking, like, what is the next step that can get me housing? Um, how do I get housing in a place, you know, where my kid can go to school and I actually can go to work? and not have to worry about the environment, you know, that she's around. Being in the, the, like, I would say the lowest part of my life. My father passed away, my mom was sick, I was working three jobs, I was newly married. I, I got put in a place where a lot of other people are. All of a sudden my resources kind of like just went away in terms of people that I thought I could rely on to help guide me in certain situations. And I also was finding myself trying to navigate uh, financial decisions and my mental strain, it was so tough, you know. But you won't really know that you're in the moment of the highs unless you go through some lows. That's just, that's just how it is. I'm here for the people who don't have as much, uh, but definitely deserve more. I'm here for my children. For my grandmother and my mom who had their own businesses to see people succeed. I'm here for those that came the non-traditional route. <laughs> you know, they, <laughs> I guess, I, I grew up seeing how my parents handled their finances. And it was uh, <laughs> almost comical at times. It, both my parents were savers, okay? They grew up in the Depression. I, I, I saw it up close watching my parents that money issues can really be sources of worry and strife. So how families, how couples run their finances is another thing that's so personal to me. 40 plus years ago when Signe and I sat at the kitchen table and she talked and complained about doing the bills and it struck me that, oh, here's the kind of problem that personal computers can solve. So at that kind of moment of insight, uh, it was formed because of our obsession with the customer experience, helping people move and reduce and slash the risk of failure and enjoy the fruits of prosperity. That together, because of all of us, all the team, we can do things that I could never do. And I just feel in gratitude and indebtedness to people who've chosen to put their career, their life, their energy, their mental uh, focus with us and aligned with us on changing our customers' lives. I, I, how, how grateful that you guys have joined us in this mission. I'm, wow. Thank you.